Hi guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode here today on the channel. We're back on the Manchester United career series on Ultimate Difficulty. This is Season 1, Episode 5. In today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against Norwich in the Premier League. And then we have a, a Europa League tie against Victoria Pleasant or Pleasant, I think that's how you say it, against the Romanian side. So, if you like the sound of that and want to support this series and the channel, the best thing you guys can do is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, and let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Players you'd like me to sign, tactics, suggestions, let me, let me know. Alrighty, and if you don't, feel free to leave a dislike. You're going to do whatever you want anyway. So we're going to start this episode off with a 3-0 drumming uh, against a Europa League side in our group, 3-1. We've also got a home match against Stoke, which the second team can play. We face Liverpool in the third round, which is crazy. So we'll now allow the youth team to play against Stoke in the fourth. And the scoreline is 3-1. Paul Pogba picks up two, a nice brace, and Greenwood with the follow-up. Okay, guys, after nine games played in the Premier League, we sit atop on 25 points undefeated. Liverpool second, Newcastle third, Chelsea fourth, uh, Manchester City fifth, Arsenal 6th and Spurs 7th. After 10 games played, we're one third through in the Premier League. And this is looking more like the Premier League I know and love, especially in respect to the uh, the um, the ladder there. All right, we're facing Eddie Howe's Bournemouth here. And it's a 2-1 victory. Savage and Tieth Chong fresh off the bench, picking up a goal. Alrighty guys, welcome to the first match of today's video. Pulisic Mutu are the top goal scorers there. Newcastle are in second. Aston Villa are in third. It's going to be an ultra competitive career series. I can't wait to see how the Premier League shapes up. Crystal Palace, Southampton and Sheffield United in the relegation scrap. We go away to Norwich. We face the Canaries at their home. Their nest at Carrow Road. Let's get stuck into them. Okay, guys, welcome to Norwich. We're in Stephen Fry's stretch of the country, so beware. <laughs> let's get stuck into the man Jack, mate, I, I guess. <laughs> so let's see who they're going to be playing. Timo Puki has been amazing this season. But unfortunately for, for, for us, he's not playing. Farman, a very good career mode goalkeeper. What, 82, 83 rated, I think he is. Uh, Godfrey, Jamal Lewis, Lintler. Uh, McLean and Martin there making up Norwich's squad. I'll try play a couple of matches against the recently promoted squads just to mix things up a bit. Fernandes, we're playing with our first team. And Sancho has been slipped through here. Seven minutes in, there's already a massive dividing class. It's Harry Kane! Oh, what a header there. It's Jaden Sancho to whip a magnificent cross into the box. Harry Kane rises to the occasion. It's as sweet as a nut. Harry Kane scores his sixth goal there of the season. We're 1-0 up before the eighth. Phew. Get that off our backs. Sancho now. The dividing class is massive with Lewis on the right. And he goes again with a slightly different and variant delivery. Lucas Digne. Oh, goes for the cross shot. Lucas Digne, Fernandez, Martial, Kane to Savage. It's Molinkovic, Molinkovic, Savage to my Martial. It's Anthony Martial to make it 2-0. And we are flying away against the Canaries. The Red Devils are 2-0 up here. It's Anthony Martial to make it 2-1, scoring his fifth goal of the season. Come on, United. Man, oh man, we're playing the United way. We've let a shot get in there by Lintler. It's a nice ball over the top from David De Gea. Fernandez, Pogba, Kane wait, waiting for fellow Red Devil runners. Sancho there is away. Ah, it's a poor ball in the end, and Fernandez can't get to it. Fernandez, Pogs to Harry Kane, takes a touch, goes for the second. We've somehow flicked it on there, and it's, <laughs> I don't know how we've salvaged that attack, but I'll take it. From the corner kick now. Pogba, try to create something. The ball comes in. 
It's Harry Kane. Oh, Maguire to Fernandez. I, d I thought I was kind of offside a bit. So I wanted to sort of cut back and bring it in. Harry Kane really should have leathered it there in that near post. But we've fortunately got a flick on and an assist from Slabhead. Harry Maguire's fed it there to Fernandez. We're too close to the goalkeeper. We're 3-0 up away. Nice little flick on. Left to right. Boom. It's Bruno Fernandez to make it 3-0. Sancho. Kane, oh, what a sexy back heel there. And I see you. I see the run of Paul Pogba with a little bit of skill. It's... <laughs> oh, you just got to laugh at yourself sometime. That was absolutely embarrassing by Pogs. And now he's just trying to do a world of skill moves to try and get it away. And Kane's been dropped there like a sack of shit. Like a sack of spuds. Zimmerman. Tackles Harry Kane. Pogs there. Martial with 3 0 up. We're oozing with confidence going forward. The chemistry. Oh, it's Kane! From outside the edge of the area, Harry Kane puts his laces through it and hammers the goal. I can't recommend Harry Kane enough in FIFA 20. He's an amazing finisher from inside, outside the box. Seven goals this season. I'd nearly prefer like an Mbappe. On FIFA 19. But Harry Kane, that's a penalty, man. Yeah, get out of here. Norwich Zimmerman picks up a yellow. That's got to be a pen. Ah, oh, it's a free kick. 21 yards out. I need to practice my free kicks, but we'll have a crack and see how we go. I like to still go with the dipping ball towards the end. So 21 yards out. Oh, my controller's vibrating off its... Oh, it's tits here, so we need to pick that corner. I don't think we put enough power, but we've got the dip up over the wall. It, it dipped enough, but we didn't put enough on it, and it wasn't wide enough. Kane for the hat-trick! Oh, you can't contend with the power of Harry Kane. Makes it 5-0 away against Norwich. And this is where... Titles are born and bred. Eight goals for Harry Kane this season. He's well and truly replaced Lukaku and his goals. Lewis. Jordan Lewis here. Finds McLean inside. Norwich. Fine. Lindla across the deck. You've got you to clap them for that one. Norwich there on ultimate difficulty. Drop through. Oh, you get, this is this difficulty, man. You have a small lapse in concentration. And they punish you massively. My fullbacks got caught there. And Lindla has smashed Dave's clean sheet. Because David De Gea isn't a bad goalkeeper. But he's just been pressured here. Let's try and get this one out. Pogba. And create a counter-attack. Fernandez, Kane. To be fair, my, my defense isn't world-class. I don't think it's probably even the top five defenses in the league, to be honest. Just like by overall rating. Just yet! <gasps> How's he hit the crossbar, man? Kane nearly has a fourth. All right, it's time to make some substitutions here now. Let's, uh, let's bring on Rashford. Tieth Chong can come on as well. And we'll bring on, uh, we'll bring off Chong and go uh, Perea the Neves instead. Kane, oh, trying to feed the ball over the top. Good vision. The execution was poor. Oh, uh, Milinkovic Savage puts it wide. Rashford now. Pogs. Harry Kane to score another. <laughs> You're killing me, man. Pogs from the corner kick now. It's Paul Pogba Neves. Uh, it's zipping around. It's Victor. Victor Lindelof to Neves. How'd that not go in, man? Should have converted that, Neves. You Portuguese boost. Rashford. Uh, Rashford has been controversial, inconsistent to say the least this season. When we've brought him on. No, no, I've just been beaten there. It's McLean! Oh, we have just been, I know, ironically cleaned out by McLean there. It's uh, McLean there, rather. I said, I, I said clean as a joke. <laughs> McLean, yeah. T uh, two goals there. I can see my front line 
especially we get to sort of the back end of the season growing in. But even though we've won a 5-2 victory against Norwich, with this marked improvement in ultimate difficulty, you do tend to not capitalize and have clean sheets, even with like a 90-rated David De Gea. But I'll take that. Harry Kane picks up a hat-trick. Man, Harry Kane is insane. Okay, guys, we've got another simulation match here in the Europa League. Our group is incredibly easy, especially in real life as well. We have to go to, like, what? Uh, Kazakhstan, uh, I think it's like Azerbaijan, and then AZ Alkmaar is in the Netherlands, though, as well. So we've managed to beat the Romanian side there. After 11 games played in the Premier League, we sit on 31. It's the Brummies, Aston Villa, in second, which is crazy. After 11 games played, a lot of teams are taking off points off each other. There's no sort of um, clear-cut second place, apart from me and first, of course. Uh, Savage has scored two. Sancho and Kane picking up the 4-1 victory over Brighton. Man City now have broken the pack. Harry Kane is currently the top goal scorer with nine. And just look at this table, man. This is just insane. Ultra-competitive, except for me. We're currently invincible with 11 wins and one draw. We face Sheffield United here with a simulation match. I'm going to play the first team. I'll try to play the first team where I can. And Fernandez Kane picks up two. He is just on rapid form. Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode. We face Victoria Prison, who is a Romanian side at Old Trafford. We're currently atop of our group. Dynamo are atop of theirs. Trabazon, Sevilla not making. Uh, promotion looks like Frankfurt. Marseille going through. Uh, Rangers, Spartak. But uh, Arsenal Sporting, Zagreb, uh, oh, RB Leipzig and Rasenball are in the same group, the same owners. Oh, that's rife for match fixing, I guess. So I'm going to play the youth setup in this match against Victoria at Old Trafford. At the end of the day, they are a Romanian side. We're playing Romanian farmers, so let's lit, let's uh, let uh, slip. The youth slash second team get their morale, get their attributes up in, uh, up in stats with their dynamic potential. All right, let's face them in the Europa League. I really like the graphics pack, the UI for the Europa League. I, well, let me know in the comments. Controversially, I've got a controversial opinion. Here we go. I reckon it looks better than the, the Champions League pack. I just like the colors more, to be honest. It's a really good pack. Alrighty, let's get stuck into the Romanian side at Old Trafford. We're going to be hosting them at the Theater of Dreams. Let's go, United. We're rotating the squad somewhat. James Greenwood. Tiath Chong Porea starting. Uh, Fosu Mensa Young and Cameron, Cameron Borthwick Jackson. Let's have a look at the squad. Do we recognize anyone? Harville? Is that Tom Syndicate? <laughs> Awfully looks like him, his Romanian doppelganger. But overall, it's great to see that they've actually got faces and they're not randomly generated players. But I don't recognize a single person. Do you? Greenwood. Pogs. Taporea. Daniel James Greenwood it's Pogba to pick up the crumbs and push through here we haven't really got a second central midfielder I feel it's kind of unfair Greenwood and the youngsters have done all the work here the shot gets blocked Pogba comes charging through from central midfield a favorable dink off the post it's Paul Pogba he's got the uh, stamina and the athleticism to play these midweek matches and play them back to back so we put him in what a ball from Mason Greenwood here. The future of United. You are witnessing. Neves holding up the ball well. Cutting the Romanian off his feet. Andreas to Pogba. He turns his man. And it wasn't good enough from Pogs. What? Oh, piss off. Victor Lindelof has given away a penalty. He's given away two this season. Maybe even three. It's the Romanians! It's Victoria Prison or Pleasen to make it 1 1 at Old Trafford. He is going to remember that goal for the rest of his life. A clinical penalty there by Joel just before the 20th. He's second of the Europa League. James Greenwood. He's been playing really well in the Europa League. I've been 
playing my youth team a lot in um, our underwhelming Europa League. I think Greenwood has four or three goals off the top of my head. It's Greenwood with the cut back to T.S. Chong. Uh, he kind of like uh, pushed away from that. He like unclicked from the ball, which is a shame. The ball comes out from Victoria. Neves, Chong, Perea, back to Greenwood, cuts back, waiting for fellow runners. It's Pogba to turn his man. It's Andreas Perea to get the shot on target. It's going to fizzle out for a corner kick. Afosu Mensa, Timothy, finds Tieth Chong. It's Ashley Young on the overlap. He cuts back only as far as Tieth Chong. Trying to get the ball in quick. He cuts back into danger. Foolishly giving away possession. Fosu Mensa pushes forward and can't get it. Puts in a tackle. He can't get it again. And the remainings are, Romanians are holding us back here a bit. And they've got a good attack here. The ball's over the top. Ashley Young has had a brain fart. Get in! Yes, yes, yes. Tracking back well. Phew! A little bit hectic, a little bit frazzled towards that. Let's build up again. Let's go, 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 go. Greenwood finds Daniel James, the Welshman, the next Ryan Giggs, to Greenwood, to Paul Pogba, and it's gone wide to the right. Greenwood, back at it again, to Pogba, finish it! Oh, it's Paul Pogba. The thing is, right, he's like the only player that has the tactical sort of... Look, young players are inconsistent. Paul Pogba's world class, and he's going to score against these Romanian farmers <laughs> left, right, and center. Victoria. Joel again here, pushing forward. They've done well to pick up one goal at Old Trafford. <gasps> uh, it's a floating ball in. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Young, you better correct this wrong. It's... Oh... A last-ditch tackle. We nearly gave away a 2-2 draw there. They're doing all right in possession. But at the end of the day, regardless of the quality of opposition, ultimate difficulty is still a hell of a bitch. Chong. Chong. To James. Andreas has hit the post. We've hit the crossbar in the post twice there. Tieth Chong. It's Tieth Chong to Pogba. Paul Pogba finds Mason Greenwood. It's Mason Greenwood to score his fifth Europa League goal. Does the Wayne Rooney celebration. Not quite with the boxing. It's more of the Tim Cahill celebration, actually. As an Australian myself, I'm fucking proud of you, mate. <laughs> I'm fucking proud of Mason Greenwood. He scored, yeah, his fifth Europa League goal. How crazy is that to say? 3-1 for United. Alright. Romania back on the attack here. Neves. Andreas. Trying to close down the opposition. Okay, it's, an in it's a good ball there back to midfield. Not going to lie. Man, it's passing. How are the Romanians doing this? Ultimate difficulty is a cruel mistress. Fosu. Now let's create a counter-attack. Let's go, go, go. Pogba. Pogba finds Daniel James. Blitzing pass. Greenwood sends through Andreas Perea. Through on goal. It's Andreas Perea. Had a bit of a controversial start of the season. Going on loan to Hoffenheim. Then coming back. And now we want him. It's 4-1 against Victoria in the Europa League. Hopefully, this is a bit of a taste and a bit of a tease for things to come. I'm trying to win the competition. We're going for the quadruple. Come on, United. His first goal in the Europa. All right, it's time to make some substitutions now. Let's bring on Tony Marshall and uh, Rashi. Rashi Rashford and Sancho. We'll put Rashford through the guts. He can play up top. Pogs. And that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. That's it. She's all over Red Rover. We've beaten Victoria Plisson here. 4-1. And they scored a hell of a penalty. Frightening. A little bit. Mason Greenwood picks up a 9.6. Okay, guys. We've got a simulation match here against Cardiff in the Carabao Cup in the quarters. And then we'll end the episode on that. Man, that's a very easy rule draw. Uh, Arsenal, Southampton, Man City in the other quarterfinals. Pogba scores a brace 
And we're facing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's former side. 2-1, Harry Kane scores a brace and Vissel picks up a goal against David De Gea. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some psn and xbox codes to buy packs for ultimate team or maybe just some games i really do recommend checking out my affiliation link g2a there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, the patreon stinger there as well come and join the community on steam my name is ben simc stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name is ben simc good bye mares Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.